Having the boys sort some M&Ms for me. We have to, oh, Ira, don't sneeze on them. <laughs> don't eat the red ones. No, no, no. Ah, uh, Ira, take it back out. You can't put it in your mouth and then spit it. No, you have this one in your mouth. Eat it. You can't spit them out. I'm giving these to teachers. But don't eat any Bye, of them. Teachers. Just spit it out in the bowl. Sorry, guys. So, we're gonna make little, I have pretzels here. We have some, some Rolos. We're gonna melt the Rolos on the pretzels and then we're gonna make little M&M apples on them. And then, we're gonna put them in these, like mason jar mugs here. And then I got uh, we some. We already have those. We already have. And I got some we only have one. lids with straws. We only have one. Because today is give your teacher a super snack for Teacher Appreciation Day. So that's what we're doing. We're making a super snack. We gotta hurry so that we can give go early to school to give one teacher theirs. So here's a picture. They are all done. Little apples, and I'm gonna go into jars that look like like this to give to the teachers so that's our super snack for the teachers today I have to show you guys that cute Sorry. Here we go. One of the perks of Chris working from home is that when I was making these, Shane was screaming. So finally Chris came out and I asked him to just kind of hold him while I finished up. And so he'll just work a little bit later tonight. And that's such a blessing that he can do that. But yeah, he went to that concert last night and he was out late and so he's tired. So both him and Shane are kind of conked out of the couch right now. Super cute. Hey you guys, so it's actually getting kind of late. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's, let's see, 10, 16. So it's not super, super late, but it's definitely my bedtime. Um, I'm sorry we didn't vlog very much today. You kind of saw us making a teacher appreciation gift and Cole went to the school and delivered um, some of them um, before he was supposed to be at school because he no longer has one of those teachers and it was a speech therapist and then he brought the rest of them to school to deliver while he was at school. So I have a picture of two of the teachers with him um, and so that's kind of what we did today. I came home after that and um, I was 
on Facebook and I finished my paper finally and submitted it so now I'm just waiting for it to be graded and then hopefully pass this class be done with this this um cultural class um, let me see what else um happened today I'm just gonna throw it throw this out there so I've been reading a lot on like Facebook but in, back in Chicago this one mom um, went to a restaurant and obviously I don't have all the details nobody can really have all the details the the truth lies um between this mom the owner of the restaurant and it's somewhere in the middle like there's two sides of a story and the truth is usually somewhere in the middle but this mom was breastfeeding and making some other um customers uncomfortable and um the owner came went up to her and first the hostess went up to her and asked her to cover up um with a napkin and the mom said no thank you and back in illinois there's a law that says that you can nurse them if you're allowed to be there before you're nursing you're allowed to be there while you're nursing and you don't have to cover up like that is that's a state law that's a right that women have there and so as soon as that mom said no thank you that should have been the end of it there shouldn't have been anyone not anything else well then the owner came and said you know can you please cover up or can you please go um use a banquet hall and she ended up making this mom feel so uncomfortable that she went to her car to nurse and she just cried while she nursed and it blew up she posted this on facebook and blew up blew up into this whole thing where people are telling her that she should press charges and all sorts of things and i just think it's crazy so that's kind of what i've been reading up on today so i'm going to say good night and head off to bed and we'll see you guys tomorrow again sorry we didn't vlog very much today so 